Hello and welcome. Now in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to install WordPress on our hosting and domain. Now in some cases, when you purchase hosting, you are going to find that there are companies that will give you hosting that is specifically made for WordPress. And so the process is going to be very easy to get your site installed. And in other cases, you're going to have a more traditional situation. And you're going to get access to something called a control panel or cPanel. But when you have WordPress hosting, it's pretty much going to be as simple as going into your site and then getting into the buttons or the wizard that the company gives you. But it's quite possible that you could have a more traditional situation and you will need to go into the control panel. And that's what we're going to do right now since that's the more difficult of the two. We are now inside of our hosting control panel and what we're going to do is we're going to go to an area called Fantastico and we're going to inside of Fantastico because that's where the one step install is going to be for WordPress. Once we're inside of Fantastico we're going to find the section for blogs and we're going to open it up. Then we're going to find the section for WordPress and we're going to go to that link. What we're going to do is we're going to click this button that says install a new copy and when it says 4.6 it means WordPress. We're going to go ahead and click that button. Now when we get inside what we're going to have to do is choose a directory. Now we can choose to put it in the root directory. In other words we want the WordPress site to take up one entire domain and so we would then leave this space blank if we're going to have your domain.com and that whole domain is going to be taken by the WordPress site we're going to leave this blank but if we want to put WordPress in a subdirectory we can do that and in this particular case that's what we're going to do so we're going to put in a subdirectory name to actually put our WordPress site in All right so we're going to write in test directory because that's the directory where we're going to put our WordPress site and that's where we're going to be working with it now you're going to need to give yourself an administrative name a password an email and this email is going to be the place where WordPress will send all of the email concerning your site. And uh, we're going to give our site a title. And of course, you don't have to worry if you uh, don't know what you want to title your, your website. You'll be able to change it later. And we'll talk about that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and write this information in. And then we're going to click Submit. Okay, so Fantastico will give you the information. Now the password here is blurred out. What you're going to do then is you're going to visit your website. You can do that by going to this link under the back end. That's going to take you where you can actually log into your website and start working on it. Okay, you're going to put in your username and password and then you're going to click log in. And once you've done that, then you have installed your WordPress site on your domain or wherever it is that you are going to want to use it for your network marketing business. Now in the next video, we'll start by talking about the things that you'll need to do to turn your site into your home base for your brand. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.